Canterbury's only alternative. CSR 97.4. Ben Howard with The Fear here on CSR 97.4 FM. You're listening to Ryan and Jeremy. Good morning. I'm, I'm a fan of this band, I think, actually. I quite enjoy it. You are? Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. You could sing along to it if you like. I don't want to uh, I'd say I got into radio because from a very young age I've always been interested in music. Always loved music, been a big part of my life. Like, there's always music on in the house. And then I always knew I wanted to get into the student radio station regardless of which university I chose to go to. So I always m I made sure that when I was choosing universities I looked at the student radio station and when I did choose to come to Canterbury I looked straight away at getting in the freshest fair, I was like made a beeline straight for the student radio station and it pretty much went from there really. Morning Ryan from Trina Jean and Rod. Can I just say we've had an email in from Chris Lyons. Okay. It says I came into the studio yesterday and Ryan had no trousers on. <laughs> just I haven't wanna, even seen this email. I just want to point out that Chris and producer Sibian and Jeremy are lying. But that's three against one. I think. The changes in CSR, both internally and externally, have come on leaps and bounds since uh, Ryan and I first started, really. I started here in February of 2011. Um, I'd been working in Southampton for a few months and I was just itching to really get into doing something radio-wise. And this job came up and never been to Canterbury before and just came along and absolutely loved it and was like, I really want this job and got it. And I started in February. And um, Ryan then became station manager at the end of March. And I think we were so lucky to, to turn up at the same time, to have really similar kind of ideas about where we wanted the station to go, where we could see the problems in the station and where we just wanted to eradicate those really. I'm Ryan's tutor. I teach him on practical radio. In, he's in his second year, so he does a radio documentary course with me and a creative radio course. I think Ryan came to the course knowing he wanted to do radio and pursue radio as a career and he's taken up all the opportunities that we've offered him in terms of getting involved in CSR. Um, I actively encourage him to be involved in CSR and take up the op um, position of running it which he's doing a brilliant job at. Um, he's quite dynamic, he's quite, um, he's, he's, he's uh, open to ideas, He's he's taken on board what community radio radi commu sorry what community radio means, and um, I th I think he, you know he, he's got all the skills that you need to be a good professional in the industry. So round eight is the music news round. Question thirty six: Why did Coldplay stop midway through a gig earlier this week? Um, I think I got where I am now through the support that I had from. Two of the girls I first met when I joined CSR, uh, they were both involved in the committee and when it came to sort of electing a new one, um, I chatted with them and they really pushed me forward for going for the position and I think because they could see how much I enjoyed and spent time working on their show that they thought that I would be good for that as well, which is why they kind of gave me the uh, encouragement and support to run for it, which Obviously, I, I think I wouldn't have, if I hadn't have had, I wouldn't have thought about running. I don't think I'd be doing what I am now. My relationship with Ryan is, is really special, actually. I'm, I'm really privileged to be able to work with someone who's so dedicated to, to his job. I mean, he's a volunteer at the end of the day, and he's a station manager of a really, really successful, but really, really time-consuming organisation. CSR does take a lot of his time, and I'm really lucky to be able to work with him. Um, just want to say a quick thank you as well to this man to my left. I think over the last, that would be you. I think over the last, yeah, your left. Um, I think over the last nine months, I think people will definitely be able to see that there's been quite a few changes since Ryan was elected as the station manager. Obviously, the tech team responsible for the studio, but there's been the new website that's come through. Ten John Pigeon Award entries for this year, which is an increase on last year, thanks to Darren as well with his help on that. 
and 197 members, which is quite nice. We really wanted 200 to be standing up here today, but we're really chuffed with that as well, so a big thank you to him. Ryan has showed from the outset that he is a very organised and focused person. By In your first year, being elected to run um, a community radio station is a really good starting point, so I think he could go as far as he wants to with in radio. In the future, I think... I definitely would just want to, I want to work in radio. It's difficult to say where... I've enjoyed the, like, the management sort of side of things, so I could definitely see myself going into that, or as a producer, so working alongside someone who's on air, but not being a voice on radio.